excited for a treat, because here tonight, making her television debut, please welcome the very funny Emma Wilman. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Awesome. I'm so excited to be here. Live show. Yeah. Nice. This is great. My name is Emma Wilman, and if I say it too fast, it sounds like I said, I'm a woman. <laughs> So sometimes I'll meet people and they'll be like, yeah, it's cool, I was pretty sure. Oh. <laughs> Good to meet you. I get so frustrated when people think I'm trying to look like Ellen DeGeneres. It's so frustrating because I'm trying so hard to look like Nick Carter, you know? I'm like, <laughs> uh, it's Nick. I'm from a tiny town originally. I grew up in a town of 800 people, so we would have newspaper headlines that would read like this. It would be like, the thief has been arrested. It was Rick. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Rick every time. That's the thief, Rick. <laughs> we had a gay pride once in my town, and it was just one person skipping down Main Street. <laughs> that was it. One person skipping, and everyone was like, go, Steve, go. <laughs> And then a protester showed up just walking after him. We were like, Steve, skip faster. Go, go, go. <laughs> the protester was yelling at him, like, stop skipping. <laughs> and the protester was his father. So <laughs> go, go. I used to always go back and forth with when I would come out of the closet, like in my stand up. But now I do it right away because I don't want anyone like sitting and wondering if I'm an awkward looking straight girl, you know? <laughs> Think how weird it would get in here if I was like, guys, I'm having problems with men. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, sure, I'd hope so, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I hate that stereotype that lesbians are mean to men. I'm like, you think lesbians are mean to men? Have you ever talked to a straight married woman over 45? <laughs> mean to men. Give her some white Zinfandel. She'll commit a hate crime. She doesn't care. <laughs> She is pissed. Get her all sauced up in that hate you. She's going in. She's going in. She's like, oh, he's a typical man, a moron who can't communicate, doesn't pull his weight around the house. You're like, okay, lady, well, you're talking about your son, and <laughs> he's a toddler, so scale it back. <laughs> I'm in a relationship now, but I was single for a long time, you know, because of my schedule and my personality or whatever, or whatever. <laughs> hard. I just get so confused. Like, I, I'm always in a state of confusion because I'm dyslexic, which means I confuse, like, left and right and right and wrong, you know? <laughs> I always try to blame things on my dyslexia constantly. I'm like, I didn't know I'm dyslexic. I'm an idiot. I didn't know. Oh, I got so confused with dyslexia. People are like, you're shoplifting. I'm like, da. Yeah, do I pay in the store, out of the store? What do I do? One time being dyslexic was amazing. I got, I got stopped at a sobriety checkpoint, just a random stop, and I got nervous. And then the cop goes, to prove you haven't been drinking, I want you to do the alphabet backwards. Ooh. <laughs> hey, I'm super dyslexic. I was like, no problem, buddy. That's, that's how I was going to do it anyway. Thank you. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Close. My mom was so excited about tonight. She, she calls me up, leaves me this little voice message, but I notice every time she leaves me a voice message, every time, she identifies herself. Every message. Like, I would get a message from my own mother and be like, who is this? Who is this? Every message starts like, hey, it's your mother. It's your mother. Like, anyone else is calling me up like, hey, just looking at pictures of you in the tub as a baby. <laughs> You're a cute baby, very cute. <laughs> Call me back immediately. You know who this is. <laughs> it's Rodrigo, your landlord. Like, ah! <laughs> Mercedes Radio Show is the check spot. Emma Wilman, everybody. We'll be right back.